The season did not begin well. Randall Cunningham was down and out after only one quarter of play. The man of the moment was the rebel with a cause. Above all else, Jim McMahon in his nine NFL seasons had proven himself a winner. He backs up. He better hurry. He floats it for Byers who leaps. It's bubbled. And is it caught? It is by Byers for a touchdown after the deflection. McMahon drops. He's firing the football deep. And it's caught in full stride by Fred Barnett who's going to go. The Eagles were winners. 20 to 3. I certainly have a tremendous amount of confidence in McMahon. We don't have any built-in excuses around here. We're a good football team. We're going to stay a good football team. The Eagles had to respond to the Maverick with the metal, the confidence man with the championship ring. Matt, 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 Matt. It was McMahon who delivered the first blow against the Cowboys in an important early season game in Dallas. McMahon drops. He is floating it for the end zone. Complete for a touchdown. To Two McMahon scoring passes, the second to Keith Byers, sparked the offense. But it was the defense that burned the Cowboys. <laughs> Eleven quarterback sacks in a performance for the record books. Comes away from one man and they get him again. He's setting up and he's sacked again. They've got him. Hickman looking. He goes again. They get him. He's under a rush. Gets away from one man. But not Clyde Simmons who gets him from behind there. Making fin speed of the Dallas offensive line. I feel like a fight judge. Seven, eight, nine and out. The Eagles are having them for lunch. And dinner, and maybe the snack on the plane flying home. They are devouring them today. And this defense is a hell of a defense. I don't think it's a better defense in the league. They're smart. They're opportunistic. I think that they're really settling into the system, and you, you're seeing the results of it. You saw the beginnings of it in training camp, and it's starting. I think it's going to get better and better. I was very pleased. Let's go, D! The following week, the two and one Eagles hosted the Steelers. <laughs> On this day, the defense overpowered Pittsburgh in the decisive second half. But it was the newest Eagle who made a very old impression. Roy, you feel comfortable with most things? Atta boy. Good. Welcome, man. I want Roy in there the next series. Roy Green evoked memories of his days as an Eagle killer. If you run that waggle go, you just run right past them. You know what I mean? You don't have to stutter or anything. You just run right past them. Man has been playing well. He takes a short drop again. Now he's going deep, looking for Roy Green, who leaps and comes out of the football. What a catch by Roy Green! The former All-Pro looked like the Roy Green that you remember beating the Eagles. 114 receiving yards for Green. But the outcome of this game would ultimately come down to two fourth down calls. Let's go for it, huh? Jimmy! The coaching staff has confidence in their offensive line. They QB sneak here. It's that close. Let's go tough brown right. A up. Zip. Make him shift and be crisp. Quarterback sneak right. Tell them to get under those guys and make contact and score with their own man. Tough brown right, A up, zip, quarterback sneak right. Fourth and goal. McMahon quiets the crowd. McMahon sneaks. He's in. Touchdown. It was the second fourth down call that propelled Philadelphia to victory. It was the 14th play of a long drive that began the third quarter. What made it bold was that a field goal would have given the Eagles the lead. The choice we have is, is tough blue, left zip, power 44 lead or power 44 Z lead, okay? You tell Byers that when that ball snaps, he's got to get low and he's got to make the hole. Why don't we go Zin with it then? Tough brown right Zin, power 44 Z lead. Fourth and one. McMahon puts Byers in motion, gives off, up and in for the touchdown, and scores! And, yeah! and the Eagles take the lead! Out of way to go! Out of way! Hey, way to go! 
huge co-tight in his first season as an NFL head coach, had the Eagles at 3-1, and one, their best start since 1981. On a Monday night in Washington, Jim McMahon went down with a knee injury. For the next month, the Eagles struggled to win. After eight games, and an incredible five different quarterbacks, including veteran Pat Ryan and rookie free agent Brad Gable, the Eagles were three and five. It may have been Jeff Kemp, yet another injured quarterback, who somehow provided the inspiration to move on. 